Welcome to Code Tech Facts. In this video, we can see the file uploader in Express.js using the Multer package. This is going to be the uploading in a file system and the validation in the Multer. So we can validate the extension or which is based on the mind type also. Let's go to into the video. I'm going to use the starter kit. So we need to install the Multer first. npm install Multer. It is going to be the dependency. After the installation, we need to install the dev dependency. npm install minus minus save minus dev at type slash multi. We can start creating the controller for uploading using the Express.js. I have created a file controller and creating a post method for the same. Going to be upload. This is going to be my method. Importing the multi package. The next step is I'm creating an object for the same. Here you have the options. Currently I'm going to select the first option. It's going to be the easier. It is just where your files needs to be upload. My files needs to be upload in the current folder. Upload. It's going to be a single upload. The field name is going to be photo. This is going to be the same name in the attribute in the application while you are using the file uploader. You have to provide the name attribute as photo. It can be anything. It can be data or file or any values. Then the uploader, it's not a promise method. The request should be the first option and response. The next will be error. If there is any error. It will be this. The variable will be assigned to error. If error, then I have to return API dot server error. Else return API dot Okay, request a response on request.file. I'm going to save this. Let's try to upload the file using the postman. I'm going to use this variable as photo and type as file. Select the file, send it. It will display the photo, test.png, all the information will be retrieved along with the path. When you go to the path, the file name will not be same as a uploaded file name. You have to use some of the methods to change the file name as well. Currently, it will be in this format alone. The next one is if I'm going to upload multiple files, that is an array of files. Then this object needs to be changed as array. It can be photo or photos. The request object will be files. Instead of file, it will be files. Let's try it out. I'm going to upload three files. So it will be written. Array of files, the three files will be written. When you go to the upload folders, all the three files will be uploaded here. The next is validation for the multiple arrays. You can set the maximum count. If I set it as two, then two files are allowed here. I have selected three files. It will say unexpected field. 
if I remove and upload two files, it can be one or two. It will be work. So this is one kind of validation to upload your limit to uploads to maximum numbers. You cannot upload more than two or you don't want to upload more number of files. Then you can restrict by here. So the next scenario BB. Currently I'm uploading the photos or the files which I'm going to be in one attribute. So suppose they for an example kind of data, you have to upload your certificate along with your photos or kind of scenarios, then the fields name needs to be different. Then only we can find out whether it is a photo or it kind of a certificate or it is come some kind of documentation. So for that purpose, we have to use the value called fields. The fields will hold the array of fields. So store it as array. The first is going to be the name. The name is going to be photo. If needed, you can set the max count. I'm setting it as one. And another is going to be. I don't want to set it the max count here. So this will hold two types of photo uploads. One is going to be the photo and another is for the certificate. We can try to upload it. We can add the another one. And select the files. So first it is going to be a photo array and another is going to be the CER. Let's try out some of the other options of Malta. The first I'm going to declare it as storage. Malta dot disk storage of the first option is destination. So this can be used for storing the files in different folders. Say for example, if the a image, I need to store it in a different folder. If it is going to be a document, then I need to be stored it in a different folder. This can be achieved. The file will have the mind type based on the mind type. You can upload into a different directory. If it's going to be the same directory, then make it as CV command null. If it is going to be a different other than image or document, you can throw an error invalid file. The destination can be the directory which is going to be stored. Currently, it's everything in the upload. The next one is the file name. Request file CB. The file name going to be callback of error is null and day dot now date time iPhone file dot original file. Let's try to upload this. The written type is file. So currently the file name will be date time followed by the test.png. So here it is. Let's check out some of the other useful functions. Declaring as options. Already we have the property storage. Next one is limits. The limits can be field size, file size, files, the number of files, the header paths limitations. All the things can be limited here. Let's try it out with the fields. I'm limiting the fields with two. Changes with options. The fields is going to be the payload. Name. First name. Or address. If you try. It will work. 
if I add the additional field it will not work because we have restricted to two fields the next one is file filter the file filter is option to restrict your upload based on any condition if we are using the disk storage then we can restrict from here if we are going to be use the database not the disk storage then this will be useful it is also have the same option as this storing this mine type if not mine type dot starts with image callback of throw the error name invalid file next one is message image format else error is null and accept the file let's try to upload if I remove and select some other formats upload image format internal server error you will get this message thanks for watching the video please support by subscribe like and share see you soon in the next video